Hello and welcome back to season two of the Game Room Podcast. On today's episode, you can expect a recap on the upcoming spring season for the ECAC, the NJC, AAE, and TESPA. We've got plenty of teams going into action in all these different leagues, so stay tuned to find out more. The Game Room is a production of Lackawanna College, serving students, graduates, and our surrounding communities since 1894. This episode is sponsored by Mountain Dew Amp Game Fuel. Learn more at GameFuel.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to episode one of season two of the Game Room Podcast. I'm Teddy. And I pretend I'm Teddy in my spare time. (laughs) And we're excited to be back here in the theater filming yet another season of this eSports video podcast, one of the only, may I add. Season two, Electric Boogaloo. Yes, indeed. So we wanted to try and fix a little bit. We have, uh, we've been working on restructuring and, and kind of finding ways to, to get more views and keep you interested. So we're going we're gonna to cut those 20-minute episodes down to a few smaller segments that we're going to release um, through a couple times a week, actually. Um, but we're going to get right into it now, just like we always start with the patch notes. All right, so once again, we have a jam-packed spring season ahead of us. We are playing in the ECAC, we're playing in the NJCAAE, we're playing in TESPA. We have a few lands that we may be attending. Right now, I'm going to let Robert take it away and talk about the ECAC a little bit. The ECAC for the spring season is kind of packed with the schedule and games that it's going to be running. Um, Game lineup for the spring semester for ECAC. We have Fortnite Duos, Overwatch, Hearthstone, 3v3, FIFA. 3v3, Rocket League 3v3, Madden 3v3, and Super Smash Brothers 3v3. You might need Sorry. to thicken those glasses a little bit there, <laughs> just, just, just uh, taking me a little bit. One I'm getting thing that I, old. I wonder about, how, I have never played Madden or FIFA with, with more than two people, maybe. I've never so. played Madden or FIFA like with a partner, <laughs> so it's strange. I mean, yeah. it'll be interesting to watch, yeah. absolutely. I'm excited to see that format. But. Yeah, and especially when you get the bros in the room. Yeah, of course. So yeah, we have we're submitting uh, two Overwatch teams, an two. A and a B, two Rocket League teams. Um, I believe we have we could potentially put forth two Super Smash Bros. Yeah, uh, jump into the Super there, Smash you know? Brothers universe, which um, is gonna be fun. Yeah, Fortnite duos. We got two new Fortnite kids this year, um, so we'll be able to keep you updated on uh, the scores within the ECAC, the upcoming matches, things like that. On February tenth is when the ECAC League starts. And you will be seeing, regardless of whatever game you want to watch, every day there is something going on. On Mondays, you will be able to watch Super Smash Brothers and Rocket League. On Tuesdays, you will have the Madden tournaments. On Wednesdays, Overwatch and Hearthstone. And on Thursdays, Fortnite and FIFA. Thursdays is for the Fs. Yeah. And then it's, it's kind of a similar deal with the NJCAAE, which is actually pretty exciting because here at Lackawanna College, we were traditionally a, uh, a junior college, mostly two-year degrees. Now we have a bunch of bachelor degrees, four-year programs, um, but we're still eligible to play within the NJCAAE. Um, so there's uh, 36 different schools from across the country taking part. Um, we're putting forth two Overwatch teams, two Rocket League teams, a bunch of Smash Bros kids, and we're hoping for an exciting competition in there. This is a brand new league too, so I mean, early out the gate, all of these schools are competing to be like the school of the NJCAAE. It's gonna be us. Um, So yeah, we're we're jam packed with with all sorts of different competition. The League of Legends team is taking part in a league that's being put on by the College of St. Rose. Um, we have, like I said, we're going we're gonna to try and take part in some uh, Fortnite and, and Smash Brothers weekend events to, to fill, fill their schedule a little bit. And again, the Overwatch team's going into TESPA. So we're going to have some, some pretty big names, hopefully, that we go up against. You know? Yeah, and that, that TESPA League, it's, it's interesting because uh, it will start next week. Again, if you're watching this uh, the day we release, um, next week we'll start the NJCAAE. Mm-hmm. The week after that starts e- ECAC. Mm-hmm. And then it's like two weeks after that. TESPA starts. Yeah. So we're going to ramp up and then there's going to be a portion in the semester where all of these colleges who are competing in these tournaments are going to be like just every day playing a match. Oh, yeah. It's going to get tiring and it's going to be grueling. It's going to be a marathon yeah. and it's whoever basically can, you know, has the stamina. Yeah. It may not even come down to individual skill. It's just who And, and the motivation, compete. you know, the, the passion and the want to be there and play these games, you know. That's it. In, in adding all of these games and, and all these different leagues to, to our schedule, I, I, I kind of took a, a page out of a good friend's notebook that 
from uh, from somewhere from Idaho. You might know who I'm referencing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, who just fills his game schedule and makes sure to stream, stream, stream. Um, they they stream like five hours a day every mm-hmm. day. Twitch.tv slash Lackawanna Edu. Boom, plugged. Um, so yeah, honestly, that's where we will be hosting all of our matches. We're even going to throw up our Fortnite and Smash Bros. Uh, matches. We're got to figure out how to do that, and we'll kind of lean on Matthew West for that a little bit. Um, <laughs> And speaking of lands, uh, we're going to be going to the uh, Hudson Valley Gamer Con April 4th and 5th. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, there will be a live event run. ECAC will be playing there. Yeah, so we're going to have Overwatch team, Rocket League team. So we're excited about that. Um, yeah, and also uh, w- one thing I wanted to touch on too is uh, the ECAC and the NJCAA E leagues are both now using League Spot, which is a, a tournament organizing software platform on the internet, which kind of makes things a, a little more organized rather than waiting on schedules to be sent, waiting the last day. As, as you said, we have a nice layout now, so we can actually uh, put out a stream schedule, yeah. talk to our affiliates that put us on at for those Hail Mary's of you at the Bitten For those of you watching this that have taken part in the ECAC and JCAA Tesco Leagues, know the frustration of trying to contact another team and finding their discords. Yep. Uh, this will hopefully make things streamline things a yeah. hell of a lot better welcome to esports where everything's made up and the match times don't matter uh, okay, so Drew yeah <laughs> <laughs> i've had that one in my pocket for a while I okay good to use i'm it. glad i'm glad so, you got to use it all right so just quick recap we are going to be playing in the ecac the njcaa e tespa uh, league of legends league put on by the college of saint rose we're going to play in some Fortnite smash tournaments on the weekend and we're going to be keeping you update up to date on all of them don't forget lands yeah lands hv GamerCon, maybe some other stuff Stay tuned. So that's going to do it for today's patch notes and today's episode. I'm Teddy. I'm Rob. Thank Thank you for for playing. playing. If you like what you see at the game room, make sure to smash this like button right here. Hit the subscribe button right here. Or check out one of our new videos over here. We'll see you later.